prefer the city or the jungle? Obviously jungle. Obviously. <laughs> Would you say you're a jungle man? Yeah, I would rather say that because uh, I've started my career you know, from the jungle itself. There used to be a place called Tiger Top, you know, a very big organization. And they trained me and then I became a naturalist. And I worked with them for almost 12 years. So after that also, I, I, I haven't left the jungle. So I'm, I'm still in the jungle. So for me, city is like two days is more than enough, especially Kathmandu. Jungle is my life. Sure enough to tell it like it is. Even that burden you leave to us children. But I don't care about being popular. I care about climate justice and a living planet. Our civilization is being sacrificed for the opportunity of a very small number of people to continue making enormous amounts of money. Our biosphere is being sacrificed. It is the sufferings of the many which pay for the luxuries of the few. You say you love your children above all else, and yet you are stealing their future in front of their very eyes. I'm here because I care about Earth. I'm here because I love our planet and because I want to have a good future. When we're talking about climate change mitigation, we're essentially talking about reducing deforestation. If you think the global deforestation industry contributes more carbon into the climate than the global transport industry. And that's a pretty extraordinary figure, pretty extraordinary statistic. So if you're wanting to mitigate climate change, maintaining forest is one of the most important things you can possibly do. That goes hand in hand with biodiversity protection as well, because Large animals such as tigers require large areas of intact landscape. So there's very much a nexus. Nepal's natural landscape, its mountains, its jungles, and the wildlife they contain, are worth more to Nepal than anything else. So people coming to that country and killing those animals and stealing them and taking them to China and selling them to your highest bidder there, they are quite literally stealing from the country. And so it's no surprise that Nepal has recognized this and have committed significant resources to prevent that happening. And many, many other countries could do a recognizing that soon before it's too late and before suddenly their assets have been stripped and there's nothing left for anyone. The local Tharu people, Khata uh, area and part, in particular uh, Dalla village and community is more than capable in, enough to teach the rest of the world about how they have overcome all their you know, inhibitions initially but then the issues within themselves to be able to think of something larger, something bigger, something for more long term uh, than their immediate uh, requirements despite of desperate you know uh, desperate needs aja bardia agi sathi harule bani saknu bha तपाईं हरुले गौरव गर्न लाई के उपलब्धि हरु के सफलता का कथा हरु लेखनु भाई को था आज संसार भरी का मानचे हरु विश्व भरी में घूमना लाई पंद्रह वटा ठाउं मध्य नेपाल ये उटा हो भनेरा आज विश्व भरी बनी रहेगा सन्नो यो चर्चा चली रहेगो था तेज को मुख्य कारण नेपाल में बड़े को बाको संख्या हो 
नेपाल भित्र आईपुग्दा सबभन्दा भाग बढेको कहाँ हो भनेर हामीले हिसाब निकाल्यौ हामीले हिसाब निकाल्दा सबभन्दा धेरै भाग बढेको बर्दियामा नै रह्यो single most important thing the Nepali government have done to protect tigers is to dedicate the military to biodiversity protection. There is no single thing that has made more of an impact than that. I salute the army. They have done such a good job. And the law is, anybody seen in the jungle without the authority of National Park means a permit or something, in the daylight, they'll get caught, okay? If they try to run away, they can get shot in their, on their leg. At night, nobody can go into the National Park apart from the rangers and army. They do patrolling at night as well. But any, any activities, without warning, they can get shot. All the poachers, of course, they are scared because they know that if we do anything, they'll shoot us. So it came it come out to be very, very successful. You know, if we go back, let's say, just around 16 years back, the tiger population was only around some 10 to 14 only, and the rhino population around 10 to 12 only because of poaching. But what the army did, they protect the national park. Now the population has gone up like rhino. We have almost 55 to 60 rhinos and tigers almost, I would say, 50 adult breeding tiger. So, which is very, very good and we're happy about it. CBP Vaniko is a Samudai Madar Chorishika Niantran, Yuba Parichal and Avian CBP, from the base entry poaching unit. Is my involved Muko Karan Kiran? The Java Dejar Chotira, you were like Arbaiki, Gaida, Yakistan, you were Martin Vanera. They were a hand, say Lagnu Pornipo Karan, Abaza Hani, Sarkar Legurnus and Kama, you were like Gurnuporsa, Lagibo, Tedikine, and you. You are a unit one. 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 You are a unit The importance of corridors that link you know, different, different habitats of, of wildlife, if there was no fragmentation of the habitat, there wouldn't be any need for, for corridors. Corridors are basically proxy, the minimal proxy to what would be a contiguous, massive, undisturbed habitat. As long as they have you know, passages, safe passages to, to, to move from A to B and mingle in the process of uh, maintaining their population, the viability of their population, maintaining the genetic diversity within the populations. Conflict can be saved to a huge extent. But there's so much that we don't know about it. And that is precisely why we need to maintain these linkages between habitats, microhabitats to macrohabitats. Because anything that's remaining, anything that is still surviving, is, is of massive significance. These uh, corridors that we have in Nepal which are not enough you know, already, the existing ones already are suffering as well. So in many places, people's participation has been seen you know, to an excitable um, level, and people have actually, local people have com uh, contributed massively in the creation of these uh, corridors, like Kata Corridor here, Basanta Corridor a little uh, uh, in, the, in the further west. So we have, you know, we have uh, created this, uh, these corridors, but maintaining of those corridors at the same time um, is is another you know is of another big big concern <laughs>